All right, hello everybody. So I just wanna give you a little the support with day four, should have to, need to, must, okay? So here's the thing. Your mind may argue, maybe like, you know, of course I have to do these things and I have to. There is no, I can't not pay my taxes. I can't, you know, stop feeding my children. I sh you know, that kind of thing. But you'd be surprised. You would be surprised, okay? So I'm gonna give you two little stories and because I, I just want you to go with the opening and closings and just trust me for this period of time because magic happens. We had one student who was behind on her property taxes and couldn't figure out how they were gonna pay them and she kept closing to pay them. And closing and closing and closing and then she reported that what ended up happening was she went down to the bank and while she was there, the banker offered to, re to check out if she could refi her home. And when in, they did, they checked it out and it turned out they could refi the home and it was going to save them money. And then what ended up happening is they asked, do you want to roll your property taxes? They said, oh, I see you have some back property taxes. Do you want me to roll that into the loan for you? And then not only that, he said, do you want me to put it into your monthly payment? So the property taxes were paid off the monthly payment was less and they refied their house and now they don't have a big property tax anymore because it's rolled into the loan. Now, if she had taken somehow gotten the cash together and, and gotten the property taxes and figured out a way to pay them, she would have had been, had less cash, but her IGS knew that this opportunity was coming. There's some, such a thing as divine timing. Another woman didn't want to take her kids to soccer practice anymore. And so what ended up happening was we went through it and, it and she opened that she could stop going to soccer practice, to stop going, you know, and that there was somebody else, and we're going to talk about this in another practice, but that there was somebody else. And so when she checked in, it was her husband. So she asked her husband, can you start taking the kids to Saturday's soccer practice? I need a day to myself. And so I told her to stop. You know, just, you know, what, and what had happened was, is on Saturday, she was going about doing her thing, getting her nails done and having her to do day. And her husband kept sending pictures. Was, oh, we got a goal. And, and then what ended up happening was, is at the end of the day, she realized that she really did want to go to soccer practice. She texted me and said, I want to go to soccer practice. I said, there's nothing stopping you from going, but she opened it not going so she could find out that she really wanted to be there. She was like, my friends are there and, and my kids are doing well and I, it's kind of part of my life now and I really want to see them. I want to see them play. And so it changed her mindset. So there's, there's ways in which we don't know why your IGS is closing at something that's on your should have to, need to, or must list or why it opens you. But what I can tell you is, is if you close at exercising, which that is one a lot of people get, there's only so much time in a day. And if you close at exercising, right now is not the time for you to be doing your exercise practice. Let it go. It'll come back around if it's supposed to be there. But don't sit there and beat yourself up day after day for not doing something, which causes this closing energy. It drains your energy. It causes illness in the body. And not only that, it takes away from your joy in life. And there is something else for you to be focused on. That's the key point. What is opening on your list is what is important for you to focus on now. And what isn't opening you on that list is not important right now. Let it go. You should be like, oh, I'm free. So, so don't, you know, don't let your mind argue too much with you. Just try it and trust it. Nothing is going to happen if in the next few days, as you're playing the game, you follow your IGS and see what happens. This is a completely new way of doing things. And if you'll, you'll just give me a little bit of a credit here, I promise it's going to transform your entire experience of your life. You can live a life where you're only in what doing what you want to do, what opens you to be done. Truly, what opens you. And then you have energy for it and you're full of, of life and everything feels like a pleasure. So just, just, just keep going. Just keep going. Make sure to give me some comments. I'd love, I'd love to get your love. Thank you so much for doing the Recreating You game. I hope you're having extraordinary ahas already. People have from day one. And so no matter where you are in the game, there's amazing things that you're learning about yourself and the power that lies within you. If you would like to have your questions answered, please put them in the comments below. We do our best to get back to comments or so does our, our members <laughs> and our students. They love to go ahead and, and support people in learning to use their IGS. You are welcome to email us at support at smartsoul.com to get more 
deep into the programs, or you can go to smartsoulacademy.com if you already know you want to jump in and learn how to master this extraordinary thing that you were born with, your internal guidance system. There you'll find 16 programs that lead you through all areas of your life and weekly group coaching with me so that we can work on your specific issues and supporting you and getting aligned with your purpose, your prosperity, and peace. That's smartsoulacademy.com and it's all available to you for $25 a month. I know, amazing. You can afford this less than Starbucks each week. Come check it out. smartsoulacademy.com.